from everything that we know, Alabama wants to build its offensive identity through two things, a big physical offensive line and a dominant run game. That combination will not only open up a ton of possibilities for the Alabama passing attack, but it will also open up a ton of opportunities for the defense as well. Now, this doesn't mean that Alabama wants to move away from the playmaking ability that Jameer Gibbs brought to the table. They just want to be able to move the football on the ground more consistently and effectively than they did last season. In other words, that bully style of football that has set the tone for the Alabama program since Nick Saban's arrival back in 2007. I do think that Alabama has multiple options at the running back position as far as bringing more of a balanced approach. Like, you're going to get the playmaking ability, but you're also going to get a lot more consistency out of the position than maybe you got out of a Jameer Gibbs. Now, that's not all Jameer Gibbs' fault. I think that's a combination of you know, his size, his rushing ability, his explosive playmaking ability, and then also you had an offensive line that kind of was more undersized and lacked that will-imposing physical mentality. And just that combination, while Jameer Gibbs was very effective, he was also very hit or miss. Some of the guys in the room currently have the ability to bring more consistency to the position on a snap-in, snap-out basis. We'll be able to run the football more effectively on a snap-in, snap-out basis. And the perfect representation of that, at least in my mind, is true freshman Justice Haynes. When you actually watch him, whether it be from a production standpoint, I mean, he rushed for almost 7,500 yards and 90-plus touchdowns on the ground in high school. So very productive player, at least on the ground. But I love that he plays with a low center of gravity. Like, he's listed at 5'11", but I wouldn't be shocked at all if he was closer to 5'10". Uh, but I think he's got a great mix of, you know, that frame and build that you look for, but also his pad level. It kind of allows him to finish, you know, with authority. But you also see a lot of natural upside as far as being a pass catcher. Like, I don't think he was utilized nearly enough in that area on the high school level. But he's got natural hands. He's got a great understanding of route concepts and spacing. And, and plus, he's good in pass protection. And I don't think we talk about that enough when it comes to young running backs being able to get on the field. That's something that separates Justice Haynes from a lot of these other guys. Like, the fact that he has the ability to keep the quarterback upright and at least do well enough in pass protection is going to allow him to be a true three down guy like you can be the most explosive talented runner in the country you can catch the football the backfield with the best of them but if you can't keep your quarterback protected enough you're not going to be on the football field or at least not in those crucial moments of the game a guy like Justice Haynes and the fact that he can catch the football he can run the football and he can you know be an adequate guy in pass protection that's going to allow him to not only you know, be a part of the rotation, but might help him become Alabama's workhorse running back or number one overall running back. But if you're looking to get the best combination of rushing ability, talent, receiving ability out of the backfield, the correct mentality, which we don't talk about enough, Justice Haynes needs to be Alabama's number one running back. And it might not necessarily be from the perspective of being the starter. Like Jason McClellan might be the guy who runs out there with the first team offense all season. But when we look back at the end of 2023, Justice Haynes needs to be the guy who we say, this guy got the biggest workload. He got the most touches, whether that be carries, whether that be receptions, whether that be snaps played, uh, or targets, whatever you want, whatever means that you want to, you know, judge who the number one running back was outside of, you know, who got the most starts, which I think is very, you know, minuscule as far as the importance. But I think that Justice Haynes needs to be that guy for Alabama. Like, you're trying to get back to being the standard. It, it, I think Jace McClellan is a really good running back. Is he the standard in college football? No. Is Roy Dell Williams the standard? Is Jam Miller the standard? No. I think Justice Haynes can be. I certainly do. And so that's why I think that Alabama needs to, you know, when you're trying to kind of create or, or work your way back to the top, the players like Justice Haynes are going to be the ones that get you there. And so I think that that's what Alabama needs to do. It might not be in starting status, like I said, but when we look back at the end of 2023, I think we need to be saying it's a really good thing that Alabama got Justice Haynes the most touches of anybody on this, you know, or in this running back room. 